Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Girl Survives broadcasting to anybody who can still hear him. We're back. We're doing a little bit more uh, surviving Mars. We're looking forward to this. I, I really wanted to record this uh, early this morning, guys, but I got distracted. Uh, <laughs> I hope you. I was quite tired when I woke up, and I noticed that there was a surreal beliefs video out. Uh, he's doing a, a Tillian campaign in. Um, Warhammer Total War 2 and it's a really exciting campaign I've been thoroughly enjoying it and I caught caught up watching that and I'm ever so sorry but uh, quite evidently I I may have let time slip away from me so uh, big apologies on that I'm, I'm really sorry about that uh, as a result of that this video is going to be out a bit later in the day um, right so uh, got a few comments on the last video that I just want to go through before we uh, start doing anything at all uh, Fran's really pleased that I'm trying to answer uh, the comments of the audience directly. Thanks, Fran. <laughs> I do my best. That's Fran Vieira, of course. Um, Mikhail Moen, uh, he's mentioned that uh, there is a paintbrush at the bottom of domes that changes the way they look. Should we see if we can find that? How do, how do I do this, then? I probably should have checked out to do this before. Oh, look, a paintbrush. Boop. Oh, look, yes, you can see the outside of the domes. Oh, that's fascinating. What if other buildings have that? I think he suggested that some other buildings also have that. Can't see any others at the moment, but uh, I'm sure that's something that we'll see in the future. I don't know if I prefer this or not. I can't tell. I think I kind of do. Yeah, we'll leave them like that. Awesome. Uh, well, <laughs> thanks, Mikael. That's really good of you. Um, Miko Lehorvita. Uh, he's a little bit worried about my defences because I haven't got any lasers up at the moment. Uh, I haven't been able to research them quite yet, sadly. Uh, the option hasn't become available to me. As soon as it does, I'm going to get those uh, those laser defences because uh, one of the one of the things that happens quite regularly uh, on this particular map that we're on, if you will, is meteor storms, and I'm really, really worried about them. I've been worried since the word go, but uh, uh, we must continue uh, in the hope that we find the capacity to do that research in the near future we will see uh really 64 he, he he's uh, he's done several comments thank you so much really um he's worried about security he thinks i should build uh domes close together and ensure that i have security in them he's concerned about my citizens going rogue or, or generally causing other problems as well I don't think we've got any evidence that that might happen at the moment. Most citizens become rebels or go rogue uh, as a result of uh, having, a, uh, a, well, a, a morale break or a comfort break. Uh, so if one of my domes is without power for an extended period of time or terrible things are continually happening, then they often go rogue then. But since that hasn't happened, we haven't got any rogues yet. I've had a look at that and uh, uh, I'm fairly okay. <laughs> I think for the time being. If it does become a problem, if my citizens start getting disgruntled, yeah, absolutely, I will build security. Um, he also thinks uh, building specific domes that cater to specific uh, purposes would be better. For example, a primarily farming dome, a primarily science dome, etc. Rather than spreading out my services like this. I can understand why you might think that way. And uh, that's probably something that we're going to do later on. Uh, have more specialised domes. Just for an example, we might want a uh, exclusively baby making dome um, that is also uh, that also caters to children in the form of schools, universities, etc. To make them as good as they can possibly be but that is something for the future right now i mean we're hanging on uh I, I don't want to say by the skin of our teeth because that's not true i think we're doing quite well but uh right now i don't think we've really got the spare resources left over that uh, in order to allow us to to do those things that's okay though um i'd look at the stats of the last video um now as many of you probably know, Surviving Mars isn't the most popular series that I've ever done by a long shot. Uh, uh, it doesn't get anything like the views of, say, something like Star Trek Armada 3 would. Because Star Trek Armada 3 for a long time was my... Uh, it was my bag, baby. Uh, especially being a modder for it. Um, it's got 144 views. Uh, I asked you all... Uh, in the last episode to if you are enjoying the series to, to drop it a like and it looks like a lot of you have done that it's 144 views and 22 of you have pressed like on that video so thank you so much to those of you that did um, I really appreciate that it means it means a hell of a lot to me I think typically most videos get about ten, uh, 1 in 10 uh, will hit the like button uh, and more of you uh, appear to have done it this time so I'm, I'm, I'm really pleased that you've uh, that you've done that uh, another thing that you might want to do uh, you might not of course but if you do want to do it um, right next to the subscribe button uh, which is directly underneath this video on the right hand side uh, just underneath the pane there's a little bell 
if you hit that little bell, uh, that will notify you whenever I put a video out, which ge generally speaking is at least once a day, so there is, there's plenty of content. Um, so if you like the kind of stuff that I put out, then you'll know about it every time in future. I think it just drops you a quick email, uh, so it's nothing too, too offensive. <laughs> it's not like a big klaxon or anything, I promise. Right, guys, uh, without further ado, we better get on with it. Now, what we wanted to do this time uh, in this episode was we wanted to start making our dome so we can start exploring... Exploring? No, the other one. Exploiting the rare metals over there. I think that's going to be our thing. Uh, we've got all of these fellows to get loads of metal over here, which is great. But now our rover... It needs to come over here, so we've got some our drones up here. So let's let it do that. We'll go into fast mode. Let's check on all of our resources. That's always a very important thing for us to do. Uh, now you can see that we're running a little bit lower on machine parts than I'm happy or comfortable with, but we are producing more than we're using. So overall, it works out okay. Polymers, we're doing fine on. And of course, electronics, we have no production right now because we're not getting any rare metals. As soon as we do, we're gonna be cooking with gas, guys, and we will be potentially, potentially self-sufficient. In the new dome, we are going to need another farm as well. Uh, we're doing all right for food at the minute, but uh, as soon as we get more citizens, that's going to start becoming a problem. Let's just take a look over here. Uh, you can see that we've nearly got 40.9 more food, which is great. Ah, that's a lot of water. Sector D1. D1, 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 D1. Right down here. No. Blimey, that is a lot of water. Is that a deep water vein or something? No, it's just simply underground water. Wow, that's a great deal of water, and that's something for me to keep an eye on in the future. I've got loads of water up here as well, actually. I'm not concerned about water. That's actually something else that uh, I think it was Rudy also uh, mentioned. He, he was talking about water evaporators and how they might be a good idea, but uh, given that I've got so much water on the map at the moment, I'm not too worried. Uh, let's... Oh god, that was my steam menu. Uh, <laughs> let's put a couple of these in here. Uh, god, I can see that we're making a mess over here next to our water tower. In fact, we're making a mess up here as well. All right. There we go. That, that should do. It'll keep our it'll keep our drones busy, but that's not a problem. Oh, there we go. We've got a load more food. Absolutely fantastic. See that the soil quality is going up. It's going to be 80% after this, and then the, the potatoes will bring it down. Uh, ultimately, what I want to do is alternate sector between soybeans scan. and potatoes. Select a sector to scan. Oh, God, we, we need to select a new sector to scan. All right, let's pause for a moment. Zoom her out. Oh, my, we've got so many, uh, so many unscanned sectors. Uh, good boost there, good boost there, good boost there. Good boost there. How, how's the boost down here? Not so great. Uh... Yeah, overall we've got nice boosts over here, except for the one in the corner, of course. Uh, probably got a decent boost down here as well. Okay, so that, that'll do for the time being. I, I'm relatively happy and comfortable with all of that. Uh, who's this and what does she do? She's a genius! Oh my, no, she is a hypochondriac though, but do you know what? I will take that. Genius is an amazing trait to have because what genius actually does, I wonder if it'll tell me, generates, generates research while she's in the colony. Now, uh, let's see what that does for me. It's probably not going to do very much. Uh, genius colonist, it gives me an extra 50 research. That's actually not bad at all. Sustainable architecture is in the middle of being researched uh, and that's going to allow us less maintenance within domes. Again, very positive, because we want to use uh, the smallest amount of uh, stuff possible. Let's unpin her. Uh, I, I don't like having her unnecessarily pinned. Uh, do Have we got any homeless people? Uh, vacant residential slots over here. 20, that's fine. Great. Okay. Got a load of disabled slots. Uh, nobody is unemployed right now, so we've got a perfect employment system at present. Uh... Yeah, uh, and no, nobody unemployed at all. Males who want children, ten. Females who want children, twelve. That's a that's a good that's a that's a good uh, ratio there. Um, children born so far, twelve. Okay, good. Let's see how we, how we're looking over here with our colonists. Uh, we've got fourteen males who want children uh, and fourteen females who want children. Well, that's the perfect ratio. Very nice. Uh, Sixteen children born so far. Uh, do you know? I wonder, uh, let's just take a look how many Martian-born kids that we have. I can't remember how to do this. There is a way, isn't there? Oh, do I do I just do it from the general menu? So if we go here and then go to our colonists. How many are Martian-born? Uh, right now we've got 28 Martian-born and only 31 Earth-born. Uh, that means our Martian-born citizens, our locals, our local citizens for local people, 
they are having a wonderful time. They're actually overtaking uh, the Earthborns, uh, which, which I'm really, really positive about. I absolutely love it. Uh, we've got five vacant nursery slots here as well, so people can have a few kids. Sorry, yeah, let's unpause. My apologies. You know me, I get overexcited about these things. Right, let's get a basic dome up. Now, let's make sure that we can get both sets of resources as that looks perfect. Yeah, I think that's bang on. Maybe if we just move it... You're in the way, buddy. Come on. <laughs> don't know why I called him buddy. <laughs> right, I figure if I go here, right here, that's going to be ideal. And what we can also do is we can use the <clears throat> smallest amount possible of both wire, like so, um, and indeed pipes. We will also need pipes, of course we will. Uh, so if I go boop, boop... There you go. She's all plumbed in. She's ready to rock and roll. She's hot to trot. <laughs> all right, I've, 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 got no, I've got no more words for that. Right, um, let us make a couple of universal depots here. Uh, I think we're also going to need a drone hub, uh, which it would, it would be silly not to, really, wouldn't it? Um, and if we put it right here, that's going to cover these areas as well. And I believe it covers a little bit of that water. Uh... You know what, I've changed my mind about that drone hub. Don't do it. Uh, because perhaps the drone hub is better this side. Because that'll definitely be on the water then. Yeah, that's got the water. Sector scanned. Boom, right there. Um, good stuff. Uh, it takes polymers, metal and concrete primarily, of which we have in abundance. Abundance, ladies and gentlemen. Um... Right, once that dome is up, we will start planning everything here. Anything you boys want to do? Not really anything for you to do, is there? That's fine. You just chill. I think I'd like to get the drone hub up first, so put that on high priority. Oh, it's a lot of electronics. How's our um, research going? Yeah, we're fine. We've got loads. Uh, loads of stuff queued up. Money-wise, we've only got 630 million, so let's just take it easy for a moment. You're full. That's okay. Um, do you know what? It's okay for you to be off for a bit. Let's just turn you off. The reason I'm turning it off is because uh, I believe when it's off, I'm not actually going to need to maintain it for a, a little while. Uh, and we've got so much fuel. Look how much fuel we got. We've got a ton here, ton here, ton here. Absolute ton here. Loads here, loads here. <laughs> oh my, look at all this over here. We've got a lot of fuel. A lot, a lot of fuel, ladies and gentlemen. I think, uh, given how much we're going to rely on the shuttle hub, I'm actually going to build more Sector as well. Sector um, Ooh, hello. Nama, nama, anomaly. Where is it? Oh, it's a research blip. Give it, give it, give it, give it. Let's see if this fella can get over there without running out of batteries. If he runs out of batteries, we're in for a bad time. Uh, yeah, I think he'll probably just about be okay. Probably. I don't want to make any guarantees here. Uh, right, I was thinking about making... Uh, three electronics. How many have we got? 82? I think it's worth the outlay. There we go. Now, one thing that we could do is... Ooh, that's another five electronics for plus 25% production. Not right now. Not right now. Uh, is there anything else that might be useful to us? Another research lab there, of course. Uh, I think we're okay. We've got all of those upgraded. Anything we can upgrade with load, large solar panels? No. Can't do anything with this. That's fine. Still producing its concrete like a little champ. Drone hubs are fine. Water production, that's all good. Let's make sure that we've got plenty. Uh, 13,000 up here and 11,000 plus 12,000 up here. We're fine for water. We've got so much. Oh, look at all this stuff up here that we haven't been using. Okay. Uh, well, that sector was a bit of a blowout, wasn't it? It wasn't so good. Uh, let's get some more sectors down here. That'll do. Is our 
little research bot doing its thing. Yes, it is. Research complete. Hello. Anomaly analyzed. Sustainable architecture research is complete, which is amazing. If we let live from Mars finish, we're going to get an extra 500 million, I think. Well, more applicants will start to appear on Earth. Oh, that's a shame. Uh, I was hoping it was something else. But sustainable architecture is complete. That's great. Uh, factory AI? Ooh, maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. People definitely wanted us to continue going with uh, with robotics, but we'll have to see. Uh, we'll also have to see if we're going to need more power as well. We've got a decent surplus at the moment. Ooh, there's a point. Uh, there is a point now. Uh, let's make sure that we are protected. Uh, so let's get a water tower here so we can start saving up some pipe water. Leak reported. Yes, yes, pipe leak, blah, blah. Um, I think an oxygen tank is also going to be necessary. So if I just... Uh, where can I squidge this in? Yeah, okay. If we put it here. Nice oxygen tank. Maybe another moxie. Yeah, why not? Another moxie here. The reason that I'm building these is it's what I would call, I suppose, a just-in-case. Uh, oxygen tank, tank, water tower, maybe a battery. Let's get a power accumulator over here as well. Uh, here? Yeah, that looks good. Um, so if I just drag a power line all the way down here, that'll Research work. Research complete. And of course, we're going to need our pipes as well. So let's grab a pipe, just pull it down here, boom. Uh, we've also got life from Mars research. Mm, yes. Oh, I love it. Uh, we've got behavioral shaping here as well. A new spire building, the sanatorium. It treats colonists to remove their flaws. That's pretty awesome. Uh, we can't get it yet. <laughs> it's just not reasonable for, reasonable for us to do so. Um, but there we are. We've got low G engineering as well. Uh, so what does that actually do? It lets us build bigger domes. Pretty awesome. Martian patents is what gives us an additional 500 million in funding. Um, let's take supportive... Oh. No, let's not. Uh, oh god, it's, it's difficult. It's so difficult. I, I just never know what I want to do. Um, oh, factory AI, let's take that because we're going to... Uh, there'll be a dearth of citizens at some point. Um... I don't want to extract amplification. We're just going to put subsurface heating just in case Sector something scan. weird starts happening. Alright, lads. Now, why aren't you doing what you're supposed to be doing? Uh, six of eight. So you've got most of the stuff that you need, actually. Uh, this is supposed to be... The drone hub is supposed to be the thing that gets built first. Because that way life's going to get a lot easier for us. Right, uh, let's bring my rover back. If we don't do that, we're in for a we're in for a pretty rough time. Where's our transport hiding? Oh, hello, transport. Uh, why don't you come down here? Oh my, look at all this stuff here. Uh, let's have you pick up all. In fact, we can pick up some metal and transport it over here or something. That'd be useful, wouldn't it? What are we missing? Oh, just a bit of metal. Oh, there we go. We definitely want to transport metal in that case. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Vehicle uh, battery low. Oh. You haven't used all your fuel. Don't you lie to me. What have you... What, how have you possibly got insufficient fuel? I've never heard such a load of bonkum in my life. Look at you all carrying fuel now. Yeah, it's people. It's people like you, drones. Just not working hard enough. I've uh, got a vehicle with low power somewhere. Oh my. Sector scan. Right, it looks Anomaly like found. you've you've picked up well everything that you possibly can. Uh, let's roll you over in this general direction. In fact, let's just put you here because that way you'll recharge. Oh, is that a breakthrough? That is potentially a breakthrough. Uh, where are you, little research Vehicle man? Battery low. Look, don't worry about that. Uh, I've changed my mind. Do worry about that. I think he'll be okay. He's gonna be fine. You, go research. Oh, 
you also uh, so one of the guys asked uh, about sensor towers. I think it was Ink. Uh, Ink asked about sensor towers. He said after um, after I've actually found everything, are sensor towers going to still be of any use, or can we just break them down? Well, they are still going to be of use um, in the respect that we're going to have we've got a little bit of a power shortage. Uh, maybe we could start spreading our power production out just a smidge. Um, so what we'll do is we will go Research here, complete. I think, get a couple of turbines. One, two, I think three will be ample. Got another research complete as well. Oh no, I did bad. Uh, oh well, there we are. Transport optimization. Uh, what was transport optimization? Transport optimization. <laughs> Battery optimization. Maybe that's what it was. Oh well, no matter. Um, whatever it was, it was probably good. <laughs> right. Let's let's plan for the Martian education because we've got the sanatorium and stuff now. If we have massively productive citizens, that's going to be excellent for us. We have our new cable oh, fault reported. We have our new dome. So uh, let's lay the groundwork for Sector it. Let's go to production. Uh, we are going to want. Let's just make sure. Yeah, of course it is. Uh, we made sure of that earlier, didn't we? Uh, let's get a rare metals uh, factory here. Let's get a standard metals extractor down here. I'm going to try and get it as far away as possible, but still within the catchment area. Yes, it is. Good. Let's get some cables to each of them. Lovely jubbly. Uh, what we'll also need... Oh, yeah. Pause. Let's take a look. The hive mind breakthrough. What's this? Residents in the Arcology get a bonus to work performance based on a number of unique perks and specialisations of colonists living in the Arcology. The tools that a society uses to create and maintain itself are as central to human life as a hive is to bee life. That's fascinating. Now, we can't build the Arcology yet. I think it's in this top uh, segment, but then biotech. It's either in biotech or social. I'm not sure which, and I'm ever so sorry that I don't know, guys. Uh, but the Arcology, it's a big uh, spire that's in the middle of your domes where loads of people can live. Uh, very, very high comfort, lot, big capacity. It's an amazing, amazing housing um, thing. And this just makes it even better. Oh, we're definitely going to get that, but not yet. Uh, behavioral shaping is also very very useful um, like if we uh, if we have a training uh, we're, we're gonna call it a training dome it'll probably be a medium dome uh, with schools uh, the sanatorium in the middle uh, university and what does this find it the fellow do oh it's Martin Institute of Science we don't need to worry about that too hard but uh, yeah so if we've got university schools uh, all the tools to make our citizens the best that they can possibly be in a uh, one dome and then we transfer them once they've got the skills to an arcology uh with this breakthrough active what be what happens is the citizens within that archaeology they complement each other's skills and just get better and better so we're going to end up with an amazingly happy amazingly productive workforce that is just going to push us to the next level oh yeah <laughs> right let's unpause i got really excited about that that's <laughs> Uh, overly excited, probably. So, sorry, guys, if I've scared the hell out of you. Uh, let's take uh, a rare metals deposit here, because we'll need it. A standard metals deposit here. So what we could also probably do with... Uh, where's, where's our geezer? Here he is. Well, uh, what I'll ask him to do is I'm just going to ask him to unload here. Or... And he's just going to plop everything down there. The drones will sort it out, theoretically. Uh, let's just make sure that our power production is fine now. Yeah, good. Big surplus, big surplus. Um, everything that needs to be built is being built. <coughs> Got a building not working. Oh, of course. Again, it's temporary. It's not a problem. Uh, we promised ourselves uh, a new farm in here. So let's... Uh, Life support, I imagine. Farm. Sector scanned. Boom. Got a farm in there. Uh, we're going to need a residence, of course, for all the citizens to work hard and enjoy life and 
uh, whatever it is they do. Uh, they <laughs> uh, what, 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 what? I'm, I'm looking for something. I don't know what something is, but it's important. <laughs> oh yes, apartments. Uh, probably two sets of apartments. Because we're going to need a lot of citizens. Now, in this dome, because of where it is. Resources. I suspect. Low. What's resource? Uh, oh, that's fine. It's only food. Uh, <laughs> by that, I don't mean that food is unimportant, of course. Uh, if we look at production, we're going to get an electronics factory here. Uh, yeah, we're getting towards self-sufficient here, lads. And lasses, of course. My apologies. I'm not being inclusive there at all. Okay, so we've got the potential to have the room for more things here. I would like uh, to make this as happy as possible. So, let's grab ourselves a space bar. Why the heck not, eh? No, I'm ever so sorry, guys, but I can't let you have anything extra lovely. Um, but I think, I think you're going to get your kicks there. Um... Let's leave that as is for the time being. Um, we may want a university or something in here in the future. Now, what are our resor resources looking like? A little bit stretched, a little bit low. We've got cash now. Let's go for a cargo rocket. We've got 1,120 million. Uh, primarily, uh, say 40 electronics. Okay, all right, we didn't have as much money as I thought we did. I think machine parts, yeah, that, that looks about the right ratio to me. Uh, do I want more drones? That might be a nice idea. We can, we can only get one. Oh, there's no point in that. Uh, we've still got a lot of cargo capacity left. What are we researching? Bef before I take this action, what are we researching? Oops. We're currently researching Martian-born adaptability. Okay. Uh, da da da. Yeah, let's just wait. Let's just wait. Um, maybe we'll get some citizens in instead. That's what we'll do. Uh, let's go passenger rocket. We've got 23 potential people. Uh, I said I don't mind gurus. Definitely don't want uh, tourists. I don't care about vegans. I don't know what the issue with that is. Uh, floors in general, I don't want any. I don't care about loners. Can we move that down? Yes, we can. All right, so no floors, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. Uh, let's take a look at your perks and see what we really want. Um, yeah, all of these are very useful. Sadly, there are no saints. Um, workaholic's amazing. Specializations, I of course want you all. Uh, age group. If I say no to this, what do I get? Rocket capacity is 12. So we're going to go for youths and adults primarily. Uh, let's launch it. Yeah, that's that's perfect. Because we need our citizens to be working. Oh, another thing that we're going to need is... Oh, we're going to need uh, waste rock storage. So let's put it around this side. There we go. Everything is ready. All right, RC transport. Are you are you nicely fueled up? Yes, of course you are. Uh, let's Sector go scan. down here. Well, I want you to pick up all of the metals that you possibly can. Why have we got three buildings not working? Oh, I see, I see. Alright guys, the farm is ready. Uh, we know what we want to do with this. Soybeans, soybeans, tatties. There we go. We've got our space bar. Yeah, yeah. Uh, takes electronics, of course, to make the electronics factory. Damn it, Lee! <laughs> How's things going in our other domes? got somebody unemployed in this dome that's not ideal is it well what can we possibly do in order to help that um, oh we can only have uh, sorry guys go back to work go back to work uh, <laughs> there we go uh, got the polymer factory it should be that nobody's unemployed now yeah that's fine Are our citizens relatively happy? 69, mor morale, uh, 74. They've got empaths in here, of course, haven't we, sir? Alright, 
good. I'd say overall we're doing fine. I'm going to turn this back. Oh, no, no, not priority at all. There we go. Oh, it does need to repair. That's a shame. Cable fault reported. Of course. Sector scan. <laughs> Another sector with no resources. What kind of horrific world are we living in? It's just not fair. Not fair, ladies and gentlemen. Are you picking up all the thing? Alright, oh, you've got 45 of your 45 capacity. Let's move you over here. Uh, unload resources here. That way, at least, well, at least we've got metals in the right place. And of course, um, it means it's a little bit less... Oh, hello. Ah, this is not ideal. How quickly can you build? You've got three at ten. Research complete. Zero at ten. Reported. Uh, let's make you super high um, importance. Oh, we've got Martian-born adaptability as well. Isn't that lovely? General training. Okay, Martian-born adaptability. Um, Martian colonists graduate faster in universities and sanatoriums, and we've just got the sanatorium as well. Um, oh, we've got microgravity medicine as well. There's a lot of good stuff going on here. A lot of good stuff. I'm quite happy. Overall, I'm quite happy with the progress that we are making. Let everything else happen. Uh, how long do we have with you? Passengers on board will die unless it lands in 115 hours. Alright guys, you're going to have to work harder. Get the polymers. Let's get those polymers. Because what we're do trying to do here is we're trying to get these apartments up and we'll drop it here uh, and they'll hopefully colonize this place. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. That was some more polynomers. That's more polynomers. One more. One more, God. Ah, here we go. Scanned. You've got too many now. What are you doing? Oh, you're just building everything. Okay, that's fine. As soon as this is done, rocket comes down. And we have yet more citizens. Hoorah! Okay, it's built. Down your pop, lads. And lasses. New colonists. New colonists have arrived. Indeed, they have. Excellent. Cable fault reported. Well, there we go. We've probably got all 12 in here. Yes, we have. Let's see what they've got. She's a hippie. That's always good. Uh, vegan party animal. Uh, Radha Tesiva is sexy. Got another vegan hippie. Oh, here's another one. Rut, you're fit and you're a workaholic. Don't look all that happy. Comfort's pretty poor. You're interested in social shopping and exercise. Okay, well, fair enough. And we've got our people working outside the dome as well. Well, all right, we've prevented this for the time being uh, from taking any, any exports because, of course, we want to... Uh, what do you know what we haven't got here? Which I expect that we're going to need. Sector scanned. Yeah, okay, so that's that's the pro that's why they can't satisfy their shopping needs. We need a grocer, and I think we're going to need a diner as well. And a medical center. Okay, yeah, let's get all of these things. I'm so silly. And we will, of course, take our little gut. Oh, that's a big garden. Uh, <laughs> we'll take a small garden right here. There we go. Research complete. That's actually going to help. We've got low, G low G fungi done as well. Alright, as soon as you're full we know what to do with you. Zoop! You're off. Uh, and it should be that we've got a little bit more cash now. 1,450. But 
Ladies and gentlemen, I have waffled on for long enough and become probably overexcited uh, a little too many times. That's going to be it for this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you so much uh, for all the comments that you've been giving me. Give me more. Uh, if you're somebody who hasn't commented before, I'll be even more delighted uh, to see a new commenter come on with new ideas um, in order to help me make this the best playthrough that we possibly can. And of course, as I said right at the start of the video, smash that like button, share it any way that you think might be useful to, um, to share it. And of course, uh, hit the little bell next to the subscribe button. It, and of course the subscribe button, uh, in order to make sure that you can see all of my videos when they come out, if you indeed want to watch them. For now, this is The Girl Out. I'll see you in the next episode. But to look your enemy in the eye, knowing you'll remember his face for the rest of your life. Now that takes... a stomach much stronger than you'll ever have.